Oh, boy. Last night yeah. uh, was um, uh, that show Hoarding Buried Alive. Not to be confused with, uh, confused with hoarders. hoarders. It was Hoarding Buried Alive. What, what do you mean? Mm, there's two hoarder shows on now. What? There's Hoarders. Is it on the same uh, network? No. Oh, they're competing with each other. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. And then there's Hoarding Buried Alive. Last night, and I, I, I've said this before, but I absolutely mean it this time. Yeah. The worst fucking one I've ever seen in my life. The worst hoarder, the worst hoard, the most disgusting house I've ever seen, and the most despicable fucking piece of shit mother uh, in this house. Let me ask you this, because you were just talking about hoarders a mere two days ago, yeah. and they found a dead body. So how could this possibly be worse than the guy that was hoarding so bad there was a dead body in his house? Because you could have clutter and, and like, junk. Right. There's a difference between junk and garbage. Right. The other house with the dead body was mostly junk. Okay. But there were, you know, bottles of urine and things like Jesus that, which is disgusting. Christ. Unbelievable. This is a fat piece of shit mother with... Two uh, 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 piece of shit kids, Her? but they're kids, you know, the teens. Yeah, and and this just worthless, emasculated, castrated, enabling husband, and the house is full of literally garbage, mm -hmm. garbage to where the roaches that are running around in this house. It was by the tens of thousands of roaches. Is that the one we saw the coming attractions for at your Where house? They, I'm like, I gotta watch. Yes, that. they take the painting off the wall, yeah. or a picture off the wall, and roaches are behind it. it. Even even the coming attractions didn't do this justice of how disgusting it was. She had black widow spiders in the house too. A nest of black black widow, widow spiders. spiders. And and whenever they asked her, you know, and and the shrink would ask her, so you know, why is why is your house like this? You know, mm. you have kids, you have teenage children living here and this isn't a healthy environment well uh they don't do anything they they no one cleans up why is there a pile of garbage next to your chair that you sit in well you know i've i've asked them to clean this up and they don't do it why don't you do it well i have fibromyalgia oh. what? I have, she, she goes i have seven or 14 disabilities she, she, and every disability is one of these fucking, you know, I've Epstein bar. <laughs> she needs lead bar over her fat head. You should only be allowed to have one disability in our country. <laughs> it was, why, what? yeah, yeah. I like yes. It. And one then if disability. you have more, then they, they send you to a home. This Julie Pika woman here, she's the one that, uh, she's the shrink. She went in. Okay. And she wanted to, to crack this woman over the fucking head. Oh, you could head. tell? Oh, yeah. She looks uh, pretty uh, doable. It was. She looks all right. <laughs> well, mm. it, it's no, a, the that. bathroom. They had to wear biohazard suits. This woman's like diabetic, oh. and she she had syringes where she just threw them all over the place in the house. They were laying all over the place. No, none of the plumbing worked, and there were diapers and cotex, bloody cotex, oh. all over the bathroom floor. Oh my god! Just what? shit. And piss, and they're brushing their teeth in these sinks that are oh backed up with black water. The, the the daughter is cooking on one burner of a stove that's everything's covered in shit. She's walking barefoot in garbage on the floor and flicking roaches away from what she's trying to cook. How do you live like that? I, I have no idea. And all that was coming out were excuses after excuses as to why things had gotten a little out of hand. Like, literally, she should... And, her family should just shoot her. Yes. I was like, yeah, yeah, the daughter the daughter cooks for the mother because the mother has, you know, fibromyalgia <laughs> and, and can't move. But she gets up and, and walks away quick enough when the shrink is talking to her. The shrink is talking to her. And she goes, I don't have to listen to you and gets out of her fat woman chair and, and walks away <laughs> with a dumb cane. What is that fiber? Fibromyalgia. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm so lazy. That I don't want to do anything, so I'm going to say my joints hurt. Oh, it's a joint thing? I don't know yeah, what it is. Pain. Constant pain. Look at all those really? Pepsi cans. Pepsi, all of I'm sure, yeah, somebody oh. wrote it. I'm sure Pepsi loved their product placement last <laughs> right. night. You know what? <laughs> you would have constant uh, joint pains if you're drinking soda all yeah. day instead of water. Oh, God. You're not, oh, my God. Turn, turn you're, this up. Here's the, you're not the, hydrating your body when you drink soda. Here's the health department talking about what they're seeing. They, they were brought in. Wow, it's, it's a pile of garbage in the house. Yeah. This is bad. Dramatic music, though. Yeah, Seriously? this is the health department, people. Da, 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 da. There's roaches everywhere. During the day. Now they're trying to go 
from room to room, and what you're hearing is them just trotting through garbage. They're in the in the kitchen. It's just a pile of garbage. They just throw the garbage right there on the floor. Oh my God. There's bad. roaches on Not every sure. pot and pan well, and temporary pan. relief we can do for them. The oh. problem you've got oh. is that there's just not enough accessible areas to do anything with it. Ants. What the ants weren't even yeah, oh, they, look at this. It's a jo- it's oh. it's a oh, can is that maggots? full of that is roaches. Minute. That's roaches, I've never huh? Seen no. Oh, this is bad. They've never seen anything this bad. Hold your light. What a monster. Go in this can. You want to see how deep the roaches go in the can? It's a can full of roaches. Oh, my God. Oh my What's God. the matter, it's Mr. Full. Pratt? Bugs got gotcha. your tongue? That's three inches of roaches. <laughs> wow. Three, three inches, inches of roaches. roaches. And this wasn't even the, the worst thing. Like, everything they did just got worse and worse. She I don't like cooks roaches. in there. Roaches are disgusting. They are so skeevy. She's barefoot in that? Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the daughter would go barefoot in this. Uh, is it running? With the syringes in there. and oh Look at the God. fridge. Oh, my God. The refrigerator serious? has roaches all That's inside it. Incubator. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's not a very nice fridge. No. <laughs> they go upstairs, and there's a room where the doors That's are pedigree. closed. Every- the doors are closed. The guy opens the door. And you just see roaches come pouring out of this room. It's it was the worst uh, hoarding I've ever seen in my life on on these shows, and I, I've pretty much seen them all. That was t- when you see roaches in broad daylight, like, like oh, they like literally, didn't care. Roaches don't want to be seen by you; no. they want to hide. They're very shy. That means they really are. If you could talk to a roach, you would go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh come on, God! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is it about roaches? You see one roach, it skeeves you out, man. They're so skeevy. Because I, I was infested with uh, mice. You know, I told the stories over the years uh, before I moved out. Yeah. Uh, that didn't bother me as much. I killed over sixty or seventy mice in those electric traps. Just for the people that don't know this story. But what really skewed me out in my old place was when I saw a roach every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, a roach. Uh, I think um, it's, it isn't as bad as like having a, maybe, maybe some ants or you see a spider in your house or something like that. Spider when you, you see a with. roach, it just, it's, it's synonymous with filth. What? With like, oh, God, I have well, roach. I, you have a filthy house. But more importantly, you're right about all that. But I think one roach, because we've heard over the years, if you have one. Oh, yeah, you have a thousand. And, and if you have one that's out out and about, that means you're infested. Yeah. So then you're just wondering, where is the, the roach nest? Where's, Where's the, the nest? rest of them? Is it going to be behind a picture? Is it, uh, you know, uh, uh, under the cushion? Is yeah. it? You know what I mean? Is it under my mattress? Is it under my bed? Where are these right. fucking things? I've seen a couple in, um, like, every, every once in a while, I'll see a little, little baby, baby one in my sink. In your house? Yeah, but I, I know what that is. They come up through pipes. Oh, yeah. That maybe. doesn't freak me out. A little teeny, teeny, teeny baby in a, in a, a sink area means it's just, you could probably crawl out of the thing. You can't, in New York, you the, can't. Yeah, in New York, I've never it's seen very hard. anywhere else. The, uh, on this show last night, the daughter is uh, to talking about the wow. kitchen and how disgusting it is. Yeah. She taps one of the outlets in the kitchen and that. roaches come pouring out of the outlet. No. Yes, and, wow. and there's just little specks what? and dots of roach shit on everything well, they I own. I want to hear more clips from the show, Andy. This yeah. one is the uh, we got to give the boys a the heads up so we, can, one. so we can get some of these clips on the air. Yeah, this is the Black Widow finding? one. Well, here's a Black Widow spider right down here, which means Are they bad? there has been a lot yeah. of inactivity in this area. They won't kill you, but... Well, they're not deadly unless you're allergic, but they certainly can cause a lot of problems. If you get one of those big welts and your arm can turn fucking black. And And this guy's going around vacuuming up roaches and black widow spiders. Like, he's not even there for garbage. He's there vacuuming up roaches. Sure, I need to talk to you. Oh, here you go. Here's the fat pig. Pause, pause. I want to set this up. Please tell me that they handle these idiots differently than the other show. I wish they're, they did. They're competing with uh, what what network? Um, oh, geez, we A&E. should know. A and E. A and E has the famous hoarder Hoarders. show. So TLC's jumping on the bandwagon. They got their own hoarding show. It's called yes. Hoarding Buried Alive. Buried Alive. And, and actually, we do have uh, Dr. Uh, Robin uh, Zazio coming from, in on Monday. Yeah, I she's guess. a book. Great. She's got a book out. She's, she's from really the other good. one. She's on hoarders. Yeah. But well, and and she. She goes with it because we we kind of oh, joke yeah, yeah. with her, but we're also serious. We're like, why are you dealing with these idiots? She says, and here's her. Uh, uh, what Doctor Zazio said was, uh, 
because we were saying, why the fuck don't you just tell these people, clean this shit up, you're fucking a disgusting mess. Right. She goes, well, that's what they hear all the time. We're trying a different approach than just yelling at them. And I go, and, and at the time I was like, oh, that makes sense. But as I watch this, no one gets in their face. No one. I tweeted last night, I go, this fucking pig woman needs, like, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman in her fucking face. To just, the second she starts say, saying, I'm not going to deal with this, fuck you, this, just get right in her face again and go, no, you're not going anywhere. Right. Clean this shit up. Not clean it up! I paused it because this is the psychologist, obviously. Yes. <clears throat> and she's going to talk uh, to the woman that's yeah. the disgusting mess. And I'm hoping that she's going to be a little tougher, but. It's all me, me, me. All right, let's hear the me, oh, me, me bullshit. Yeah. Hateable. And there is a nest of black widow spiders in there. Okay, so I'm really concerned about the safety of, of you and the kids in that house. Um, it's this is a really disturbing environment. It's not safe. I, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm, I'm asking you: Are are you? Do you have some awareness now of how dangerous this situation is? You know, I feel like you're going to continue to push me until I say I don't take really good care of my kids because I don't give a <laughs> You don't. Pause this. You don't. Look at her fucking disgusting I, I, husband. I, 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 oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I How much do you hate her? I, I can't do this. If you watch, it the, brings whole, back memories, if you watch the whole episode, I can't do this. You'll freak out. You'll fucking freak out at, at how much you want to strangle. Oh, I want to strangle woman. this woman. Yeah. I don't feel sorry for her in, nope. the, in the she least. Goes, the, the psychiatrist, the psychologist is saying, look, I'm concerned about your kids, uh, you and your kids in, in this environment. Uh, and she twists that around into... Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, uh, you're saying that me, I, right. I'm not uh, a good parent. I, I, I would take out her knees with a <laughs> Buick. Oh, <laughs> would that be great? Uh, I, I can't do this. This me, me, me shit that a lot of us have dealt with over the years. Oh, it's fucking brutal. It's enraging. And they, she's one of the worst. They don't yeah. see none of this. No. No, it's and all then, about her. And then that lady, how do you how do you do that job where you have to cater to this oh, as a psychologist? Yeah. Watch the rest of this. Right, it's sorry. it's infu no no. And by, and and by the way, the mental, time, we trash mental illness. The phones always light up because everybody is sick of these fucking shit from people. Yes, because ugh, because I think what is blown off when you have to deal with someone with mental illness in your family is the fact that it it affects everybody. So. So, logically, you should separate that one fucking person to keep everyone else healthy. But, right. no, we all have to get, quote, sick to try to make you better. Uh, and you don't even acknowledge what, what the sacrifices everyone's making around you. Yep. That's what drives me nuts. Infuriating. But why, as human, uh, you know, having human compassion, you can't just separate that one person to save yeah. everyone else? Yeah. Get rid of the disease. Fuck. Cut out the tumor. Yeah. I have more respect tumor. for a lunatic who just picks up a gun and <laughs> runs out and shoots a bunch of people because you're like, wow, he's fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. He's not sitting there draining everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know that this woman, this fat pig right here? Oh, oh, oh that's not nice. Sorry, Iraq. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh my! Sorry, I didn't know. Uh, she's loving this. You're playing right into what she wants. Yes, she wants attention. She's hateable. And now she's going to get up and walk away. And now you have to dramatically follow her. And oh yeah. God, never. Well, he yeah, here she is walking never away. Never again. Listen to this fucking bitch. Oh, walk away. Her husband's just sitting there. I don't have to talk to her, and I'm not going to. Uh, Sherry is a very troubled woman, and shrink. I think she is in a lot of denial about how serious her problem is and what she this goes situation sits in her has car done to herself while everyone else is cleaning her fucking house. That fucking. Uh, and now they got to go up and yeah. Now there's somebody else, a worker, talking to Sherry. The they should fat just burn pig. the house down. I'm trying to make it sound like. I made my children live in an unsafe environment. You did! With those spiders in my house, and I didn't. You did. You do. That's so. You're supposed to take care you of your own of kids. You kind of have to take a look at things, how they got the way they are, and kind of internalize it. And I think that's kind of maybe what Jolie's trying to point out to you too. Oh. She's a. B I don't like her. I don't want her around me. Okay. Yeah. I have to sit in the oh, van. The shrink. Her, she doesn't want the shrink around her. You don't tell me about myself. Yeah. yeah. The van, okay. Because I don't want you to avoid the situation that we're doing. I'm okay. not avoiding what you're doing. Okay. Yes, I'm you are. You okay, went into a van. 
It's what? another way for a fat, lazy fuck uh, to not clean up her own right. mess. Right, clean up your own clean shit. Clean up, well, fatso. I, let her oh, you should have seen the part. You should have seen the part. Be. You should have seen the part where she goes up to her room, her disgusting hovel, lays down in a roach-infested bed, and and tells the people, I, I I feel sick. I feel sick. I can't be down there. I can't. Are there roaches in the bed? Oh yeah, there's roaches in the bed. She wakes up at one point and there's like shit on the pillow and roach shit. And... No, there's not roaches uh, in the yes, bed. Yes, all uh, over, everywhere in the house, there are roaches. After she said that, I would just turn to my team and go, "All right, pack up, pack it up. We're leaving. Let this piece of shit We're live leaving. in the pedigree." Every oh, pedigree. No, it's great. Uh, a little observation. Yeah, I think it's never good when they bring out the red garbage bags. It's a biohazard. Yeah, they they had they're syringes. like hefty bags, obviously yeah. that we all know, but the red ones. They're their dark red color. Yep. You know that's not good. The house is a biohazard because of the fecal matter, the blood, bloody cotex on the floor. And the syringes, the hundreds of syringes, that this woman said, I had a box for sharps, but I don't know what happened to it. Mm. So uh, I just started putting them in the garbage pile. Yeah, that's great. See, you know you're in bad shape when people cleaning your house are dressed the same as people who are cleaning up fucking Three Mile oh. Island <laughs> and the nuclear <laughs> spill in Japan. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes. Fukushima. When they're dressed yeah, like the yeah. same way those people are dressed, your house is a shithole. No one should ever be in your house dressed like that unless it's Halloween. <laughs> I do feel bad for the teenagers, though, because it's like you're raised in oh, this. It's like, oh, what are you yeah, going to do? Yeah. If, 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 well, do they show them? Oh. Yeah, they, they did show the, the, the fat, ugly daughter uh, <laughs> cooking. Oh. And, and what do you want, Mom? I want three eggs. No. And then she's cooking they her happen. eggs in the roach-infested kitchen. I was like, I'd poison the food if I was the daughter. Let's poison it. Put this fat pig down. Jesus. She's a terrible mother. Oh, terrible woman. horrible. And it's, everything was about her. Yeah. You're telling me I, you know, she's telling me I could, didn't take care of my kids and had them live in, in roach-infested house. Well, look it. Yes, you did. Oh, it's, it, it makes my fucking head yeah. hurt. How, how what? angering. I know why it bothers me. Why does it bother Jimmy so much? Because it of the, me too. the lack of ability yeah, for them to th see it. There's a different, there's definitely a different level of uh, uh, of being annoyed by this. I want to punch her in the face you're because just, of how she is. Like as a, uh, she she doesn't see. But you're she not see her you're not connected to it. You just see it as like a just a disgusting human being. But there's something in Jimmy's voice that I recognize, and it really bothers I don't him know. on a deeper I, level. I, I yeah. think it just hits us in a very weird way that there is when when you're. I'm not always self aware, but I try to be self aware. I try, but to see the lack of awareness and I, certain people I've dealt with in my life, uh, let's just say in the last few years. Who have had this me 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 shit? Yeah, and I wanted to pick up a rifle and shoot them. Well, maybe that's it. Uh, I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've grown to hate them. Yeah, and I have no empathy mm -hmm. and no sympathy, and I'm tired of only hearing empathetic things from from people, and they only want to hear you speak about them in an empathetic tone. Right. They don't want to. You never hear these people come out and go, "God, I am a selfish pig." Yeah, and that's why we hate well, them. And, and yeah. they're never going to do that, but you just want them to give you just. Slight awareness slight. of what's going on. They don't even give you a slight awareness. Like, no. oh, I realize my problems are really affecting a lot of people around me. It's always the same thing with this show, too. The the fat pig, and then they, they just cannot find enough people to blame. And they have these enablers around them mm -hmm. that just won't get in their face and say, you know, this woman's getting up and, and walking around. She's walking away from the shrink. She looked fine walking to the, to the vehicle and sitting down. But the second they say, we, we want you more involved in this process of cleaning up, she all of a sudden, my fibromyalgia, my Epstein-Barr, I'm nauseous, like this, that. There's a thousand excuses. And, and why is the place a mess? It's nothing to do with her. Meanwhile, she's sitting in this chair, this throne of shit in the middle of her fucking living room with one of those things that crippled people use to reach items that are too, too yeah, high up yeah. on a shelf. Right. She's got one of those. Of course she does. And, and it's used because occasionally the mountains of garbage fall into her little zone. She picks it up and flings the garbage into a pile instead of like cleaning it and then blames the daughter and the son for not having cleaned this mess up. And the husband the is also useless. hateable. Yes. But 
it's not like like if I lived with Angelina Jolie and she was that messy, I would tolerate it. Like I'd eat her pussy and I'd brush the roaches away. <laughs> but when you're a fat monster like that, what yeah. is wrong with this husband? Yep, not you're, defending his children. You kind of said it wrong, Jimmy. You would brush the cockroaches away to eat the pussy. Oh yes, oh, I would. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'd... You'd have to brush some black widow spiders. Yeah. off the pussy before you eat it. You'd hear, "Eat my pussy." All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> And then hearing them scurry what? away up her abdomen, around, oh. or, or, they'd crawl around and then go up her asshole, because well, they're always looking for somewhere to go. <laughs> well, let's get into this for a moment. Would you would you smell a hoarder's uh, pussy? Oh, God, no, never. What do you think it smells like? Uh, garbage, um, garbage, fecal matter, garbage, fecal matter. Garbage is easy to smell. A tart, pungent You would smell. tolerate. You would tolerate smelling garbage. No. Oh, no. 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 What? No. You've not smelled garbage, garbage before. You yeah, but not on a it. pussy. Jeez. <laughs> that, that, really, that, really, that really brings it home, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, sir. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, it's, uh, you have it's to add disgusting. The, you have to add the word sour in there, too. Sour. It would be a very sour-smelling pussy. The, uh, the the children are always to blame, and they just are, are, are uh, yeah, of put course. in a situation where of they, it ruins any type of social life that they should probably you, be you having. You just said the children age. are always to blame. Oh, oh, oh! I was saying the children are always to blame. Like that—that's the mindset oh, of the, the yeah, yeah. I got this is a hot guy. No, he helped me into the water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. he helped me. In the... <laughs> he pushed me. <laughs> I remember that episode when Hawkeye kept itching because he smelled the moldy clothes. Yes. What happens Ooh. in your brain that you become a hoarder? Because in my house, uh, since I've had a kid, you know, we got a couple little piles here and there, and I can't, I can't take it. No. I have to get rid of the, the dumb little piles. Nothing, you know, like maybe a little mail piling up, some old magazines, crap like that. And I, it, I lose my mind. Like, no, we got to fucking make sure this pile doesn't get yep. any bigger right now. I do understand the mindset. Like, and we've talked about this before, but how, because I collect things, and I do get the idea of, I, I can't throw this out. I, I, like that irrational, ah, ah, I, that's all I can describe it as. It's like reaching for something. I, no, 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 I need it. But... To let it get to that point where it's garbage, I, I just I don't comprehend. But I get the mindset of, of I need to save this. I need huh. to keep this yeah. for collectibles. Sam, I think you do, too. You collect wrestling shit. You know what, though? In the end, you, you only need probably your phone. My uh, In my life, my phone, my camera. Your picture and, of me. And my picture <laughs> with Jim Norton. And, and my MacBook. That's all you need in life. Everything a, else is garbage, I'm really. A little, I'm a little guilty when it comes to uh, collecting shit, collecting uh, electronics. Like I have a hard time throwing away um, old electronics. Old electronics that. And the thing is, when I when I put them somewhere, they're not completely outdated. But then a year later, when mm -hmm. when you're going through something, and then you see like, oh Christ, a box of fucking old shit that that is I never use this anymore. Right. Uh, and instead of throwing away, I just kind of shut the box out of sight, out of mind. I have no aversion whatsoever to throwing it away, but I'm just like, eh, why bother? Well, you got enough space. Yeah, that's just if it. If you lived in New York, man, it would be a different story. Yeah, get rid Those of Those rooms it. start filling up quick. No, I don't have a TRS-80. Yeah. <laughs> Tandy, from the Tandy what, Corporation. What's the rule? If you haven't used it or worn it in a year, yeah, just I mean, throw it away? Yeah. And you'll never miss it? There, there was a scene in the, in the like that. hoarder episode last night where uh, the shrink comes out and she, or, or some woman comes out and she's holding this wicker basket thing. And she goes, I wanted to run this past you. Uh, do you want to keep this? And she's looking at it and she's like, no, no, I'll just, you know, I'll just have my mother come out of the grave and make a new one. <laughs> like, and, and it's like if it was and, and then she goes, well, there's roaches and roach eggs all over it. Yeah, well, just throw it away. Get rid of it then. Get rid of it. And it's like, if it meant so much to you that your mother made this fucking thing, that you don't want to throw it away, and you're giving snide-ass remarks to the person trying to help you, perhaps you would have treated it a little better and not let roaches nest in it, you fucking slob. Can we watch more of this woman? I, 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 it, it affects yeah, me in a weird it. way. Two clips. That's it? Yeah, fuck. Oh, they'll post the whole episode. That's smart. When will we have the whole episode? Yeah. Uh... I mean, we might have to find it someplace. Yeah, find some clips at some point. Yeah, let's do uh, this, man. Yeah. That is tomorrow. enraging. It was. I. I was. I, I. I was tweeting last night, and people were infuriated because they start watching, and we just start like tweeting what's going on and how it, it's. Uh, it's just pissing everybody off, and uh, you'd be amazed how many people just want to 
wanted to literally kill this woman. Now why? Because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's too close to home. Yeah. Everyone has someone in their life. And the only way to handle them is get really frustrated by Abandon them. them. Totally. Oh, yeah. Abandon, abandon them. them. Abandon them. Abandon them. I, I, maybe that's harsh, but I, I think that t- to not allow it's, them to affect you, they have to be abandoned and just left to do whatever they want in their own filth. Yeah. I completely agree with you, but, you know, it's, it, let's acknowledge it's not the easiest thing. No, it's very hard. Oh, here's another, it's hard, very hard. Hard. Yeah. another yeah. despicable part of this woman. Oh, yes. I totally forgot about this. Yes. The husband, by the way, doesn't live in the house. He lives somewhere else. And why is that? Uh, because the, the place story? is a fucking mess. He and, finally had a bail. Yeah, yeah. He he bailed. He lives in another house. He probably has a hot they're, they're twenty-two year old that he's. Having sex. I doubt it. <laughs> they're estranged from each other. Yeah. She has custody of the kids. Will not let the kids live with the father because she gets money for having. The two kids and being on disability. And she wants people to take care of her. Right. Fat and she needs the, the people to take care of her. And she, she pockets the money. Well, fuck the husband. He probably doesn't want the kids with him. Because how could you not just go to court with a photo and go, this is where yeah. they're living? Yeah, fuck the father and, and fuck the system for allowing that. Well, that's just it. Yeah, you could be able to do that. Look, she, you know, she got away with it. Ugh. You almost can't blame pig. her. Well, by the end of the episode, she's... um. The house is uh, not a- a cluttered anymore. I won't say clean. And they're all eating together. The, the daughter had, had cooked something on the stove now that had four burners. And, and all the twi- tweets that were coming in were, I, wouldn't, I still wouldn't eat, sleep, shit, or stand in that fucking hovel. You do know that there's no way the roaches are gone. No. They probably had to uh, go, all right, uh, action. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cut. Uh, no, every they, time a roach ran out, they had to stop shooting. They, they, people were even saying, well, uh, you know, well, most of the bugs seem to be gone. Mm. And uh, and then the woman by the, her shit chair, they didn't get rid of her shit chair that probably smells like her fat ass. Yeah. Uh, and right next to it, these boxes of fucking Pepsi. Uh, I was going to say. It started already piling what, up. What, what a great way to end the episode where the dishes are in the sink and you hear someone in the in the background going, ah, we'll get to that later. Yeah. I'll and, leave them soak. And then you do a nice dramatic close-up, yeah. zoom in to the dishes in the sink with... And, and one roach crawling on yeah. it. <laughs> and then it ends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right on, man. It was infuriating. I was too busy it. trying to figure out this uh, GOP bullshit, and you're watching Hoarders. Nice. Oh, it was great. Nice. I love how they do. They they tread that line between hating the person for what a fucking prick they are and what a disgusting mess they are, and the skeeve of the house itself. You know, so you, you hate the person, and then you get the heebie-jeebies watching the uh, show. Uh, so these hoarder shows are great.